Hi there, my name is John Simons, and we are in day six of our 10 days of devotion that builds up until we get to Pentecost Sunday. On day six, we are considering one of the warnings that Jesus would give us from John chapter 15, verse 6. Now, you will remember that in John 15, he says, I am the vine and you are the branches. And on day five, we spoke about what it means to remain in Christ. We are in him because of our faith. But as we devote ourselves to that unity, it will grow our awareness of his presence and his fullness, and it will release everything that he has promised to us. So he now warns us in John chapter 15, verse 6, that if you do not remain in me, you will be like a branch that will be thrown away, it will wither, and those branches will be picked up and thrown into the fire, and they will be burned. We do not believe that Jesus is saying that the first mistake that we make will cause us to be plucked out of our connectedness with him. That's not possible. The metaphor that he uses here is a warning that says, if we neglect our connectedness with him, we are the ones who will pay the price. Our decisions in life definitely has implications. And those decisions could grow to become complications. Consider this statement, you cannot break God's law. You can only break yourself against God's law. Does it sound a bit harsh? Well, let me use the metaphor of a ship that is at sea. And the ship receives a warning from a lighthouse. If the ship ignores the warning from the lighthouse, the ship will pay the consequences. The ship will be destroyed. And Jesus says here that if we do not remain in him, we are in him. We have been accepted by our faith. We've been brought into a connectedness with God. But if we don't nurture that connectedness, the first implication will be that we will wither. I believe that the human soul was designed to flourish because of our connectedness with Jesus Christ, who is the source of our very life. He's the energy. He's the one who brings purpose. He's the one who gives peace. He's the one who gives capacity so that we can live this life. And if we do not remain in Him, if we do not remain in fellowship with Him, if we don't remain in His character and His purpose for our lives, we are the ones who will wither. And then He continues to say, after you continue to wither, you could get to a point where you actually die and you fall away from the grace of God. It's a long process, but I do believe it is possible that people could turn their back on God. What I have seen is that He is not the one who ever would let us go. I believe that through His Holy Spirit, He will continue to reach out to any such person who has neglected this particular warning, any person who does not remain in Him, the loving Father will always, through His Holy Spirit, continue to reach out to us. But let me say today that accountability is a blessing in the life of the believer. And Jesus puts us in a position of accountability where He says, you need to remain accountable to me as the source of life, and the scriptures also confirm that we have to be accountable one to another as the body of Christ. We are accountable to Christ who is the head, but I am also accountable to other believers. It is a great place to be where somebody else has the permission to ask me questions about my decisions. And I want to encourage you today on day six as we look at the promise of the Father of His fullness, that you realize that He has a plan for your future 
and that He calls you into quality friendship and relationship, not just with Him, but also with the rest of His body. I believe that every believer should be in close proximity of other believers. And may this challenge you to open up your heart to others so that that accountability can facilitate the incredible promise that comes on the other side of those who remain in him. Let's pray together. Father, I pray for people who may sense that they have neglected their connectedness with you. And may there just be a new passion and a release today of the glory of God who has brought us close to the Father through Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen.